Let's balance the redox reaction for MnO2 plus Al it gives us this Mn and Al2O3. Manganese dioxide plus aluminum, we get manganese and aluminum oxide. We're going to use the ion electron method, also called the half reaction method, and these are the steps we'll follow. So first we need to write the oxidation numbers for each element. That looks like this. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description at the end of the video as well. Next, we write the half reactions for the species of interest. Those are the ones that have changed their oxidation numbers. That'll look like this. So the manganese goes from plus four to zero. So this number became smaller. This was reduced, so it's gained electrons. So this is reduced. And the aluminum, that's gained oxygen. So we're pretty sure that's oxidation. And if we look, we go from zero to plus three. It means we've lost electrons. So the aluminum, that's oxidized. Now we can follow these steps to balance these half reactions. We'll start by balancing the atoms of interest, the ones that have changed. Manganese and manganese, that's balanced. We have one aluminum here and two here. Let's put a two in front of the aluminum. So the atoms are balanced. Now we'll add oxygen atoms to each side. So we're going to add water to each side to balance the oxygens. So we have two oxygens. Let's add two water molecules. Two times one, that gives us two water molecules. They're balanced. Over here, we'll add three water molecules. So now we have three oxygens, three oxygens. To balance the hydrogen atoms, we'll add H+. After all, we're balancing this in acidic medium, so we'll have H plus ions to work with. Two times two is four, so let's add four of these hydrogen ions here. Three times two is six, so let's add six hydrogen ions on this side. Finally, we're going to balance the charge. We're going to balance the electrons, so we can add electrons to each side. 4 plus, let's add 4 electrons here. 6 plus, let's add 6 electrons. So those are balanced. So we've balanced these half reactions. Now we need to balance the overall equation for charge. And think of it this way. Right here we have the reactants. These are all reactants. They're reacting to form the products over here. In the reactants we have 4 electrons. In the products we have 6. That isn't balanced. So we want to get those to be same on both sides. We can do that. We know that 4 goes into 12 and 6 goes into 12. So if we multiplied all of this, everything, by 3 and all of this by 2, 3 times 4 electrons, that's 12 electrons. 2 times 6, that's 12 electrons. So that would balance the charge. Now we've got to add these half reactions together and then we can simplify. So 3 times everything, two times everything. That'll give us, and understand that all of these right here, that comes from these right here. Then we have the products down here. Now that we have this, we can simplify. I see in the reactants, I have 12 electrons. Also in the products, get rid of those. 12 hydrogen ions, same in the products, get rid of those. Water, six water molecules, six water molecules, we can get rid of those. What's left, that's the balanced redox reaction for MnO2 plus Al. Let me clean that up. And this is the balanced redox reaction. And we can check our work. We can see there's no positive or negative here or over here. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up on each side, they're going to be balanced as well. So you know you've done this right, because if you don't have the same charge on both sides and the same number of atoms, you did something wrong. You need to go back and check your work. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for MnO2 plus Al. This is using the ion electron method or the half reaction method and in its acidic medium. Thanks for watching.